Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Nico here from Against the Grain. And I posted earlier on social media that I would be showing you guys how to do a do-it-yourself bug out bag for very affordable, low cost with the basic home essentials that you can build a bag with. So let's dive right in. And by the way, if you guys haven't already started following me on Instagram, it is against the grain. So be sure to check it out. You know, I am all about affordable camping and camping hacks. And I just want people to go out and explore and live their lives and be fulfilled. That's the biggest thing for an affordable price without breaking the bank. So let's go ahead and dive right into our Bob bag, as I like to call it. A bug out bag, if you don't know what that stands for. All right, you guys. Here's our Bob bag, and it was relatively cheap. <clears throat> you can pick yourself up any backpack, to be honest with you. It doesn't matter where. I would recommend this one I got at Big Five Sporting Goods. I paid about 40 bucks for it. If you want a good, durable bag, it has a bunch of good pockets, and there's a bonus thing to it. But before I get into that, you know, you can also go to Goodwill, and you can pick up a super good bag. Tons of bags. It doesn't necessarily have to be a backpack. It can also be like a computer bag or a duffel bag because I have many, you know, bug out bags. But this is just one of them. This is my most recent one. And I wanted to do this one to provide, you know, some value to you guys that not a lot of people have money to go outside and spend. So, like I said, I'm building this bug out bag from just the basic, basic needs. All the stuff that I found at home. Everything, 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 everything. I did not go out and buy all this stuff. I've had all this stuff and it's it's very basic survival gear. So let's go ahead and dive right in you guys. Here's one interesting thing about it. This is actually a bladder bag, right? Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but boom, two liters of water, right? Water is super, super essential, you know, more than food for those of you that don't know. So that's a cool bonus thing about this backpack is that obviously you can carry it on your back and it's got two liters of water I believe and you guys are gonna laugh at me but so I carry this bad boy around that is one gallon of water that is glass yes uh, pe people do stare <laughs> but you're not gonna want to be carrying that you're gonna get tired you know let's say you're going hiking right and you go off the trail and you get lost and you can't find your way back and you're stuck outside until you find help for a couple days let's say two three days Water is super essential. You need to find a water source. And you're going to get tired of carrying that thing around. It, you could drop it, fall, it could break, and then you're out of water. So at least with this bag, you can carry two liters of water, which I would use very, very carefully. So we're going to go ahead and dive into some things. So obviously, when you're out, you know, you get lost. Light, that is an essential Headlamps are super cheap. This one was super cheap. I've had this one for a while now. And it's small. It's super small. You can stuff it in your pocket. You can put it in the little pockets. You know, I obviously have a bigger flashlight, which is, this was actually a really good flashlight. It's got the, um, like the narrow zoom. Obviously you can see that. And then it's got the wide zoom. It's about 700 lumens, super bright. It's got three settings. Very, very good, reliable, you know, cheaper flashlight, 20 bucks at Walmart, boom. So obviously if light is essential, you know, you're going to need batteries and batteries are essential to your light. You're going to need light. If you can't get a fire going, at least you have light, but it is going to attract bugs. So beware. Um, and another thing too, they're super cheap. 7-Eleven, I think I paid like four bucks for these. When you're out, you're going to need a flashlight. So it's good to have two of them. So you got your big boy and you got your headlamp. All right, guys, moving on. So obviously we talked about light is an essential. This is a pretty cool, neat little toy right here. So you got yourself a compass on it. Totally, totally needed if you ever get lost. Or when shit hits the fan. It's super neat though because not only does it have a compass, but it's also a whistle as you can tell, right? And you can wear it around your neck so you don't get lost. It is also waterproof, so I stuck a bunch of matches in there, right? And I ripped the little um, the little grip tape off the uh, matchbox, 
and I, I put it in there because obviously, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass if you're going to try to strike up a match. And you can't because you don't have that little piece. Another neat little, uh, you know, thing that this thing came with is a mirror. Oh, did you get my eye? Came with this mirror. Dude, big time essential. This thing, if you know how to use it right, I'm telling you, you, you obviously could flag down help. This little mirror is going to help with something flying over, a helicopter, a plane. You're going to want to flash them. Crazy essential. I thought it was super neat, you know. These things are super cheap. You know, you could probably get them on Amazon for like three, four bucks. Boom, watertight. These two go perfect with each other because not only does this have a compass as well, but it is also paracord, which actually I'd really like to actually change this string out to some paracord. Just, you know, stronger and it looks cooler. Paracord bracelet. Also a whistle, if you can't see that right there. Also a flint starter, which is huge, 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 crazy essential you need to have in your backpack. Fire. Not only is water a big essential, but fire. You have to have fire. If you're going to be stuck out, you know, for nights on in, fire is the number one thing that you need. And you got to keep that baby going, especially if you're inexperienced. Um, you know, boom, got yourself a flint. Get her going, no excuses. You know, this is another little bonus. I threw a watch in there because obviously you're gonna wanna know what time it is. And the neat thing about this is that it's got the obviously the day, the date, and the time. You know, so, you know, if you're lost, you want, you're gonna wanna keep track of that. Boom, super, super cheap. There's gotta be, I think the most expensive thing out of all of this, probably the watch, it was like 15 bucks at Walmart. These were like five, 10, 15, five bucks each, so cheap. But I've also had them for a while. So now we're moving on up. So you guys, fire sticks. Dude, these things are the bee's knees. These things right here, so they're actually like clear coated in plastic, so they burn super slow. And it also obviously makes them waterproof. But that is one thing you're gonna want. And if you can't get a fire going, then I don't know what to say. But if you got the flint, these two right here are your best friend. Okay, you got, even if it's raining out, you gotta find some, you know, try to find some dry tinder. Throw these bad boys in there. You can actually break them up. They're just little sticks, right? Get going with the flint. Also, here's a little hack I'd like to, you know, show you guys. Brand new lighter. I got some hemp cord. Hemp cord also burns slow. Lighters don't always work. They do get wet, so that's another big one right there. That's a hack that you totally can do. If I were you, I would buy a whole pack of lighters and I would wrap them in hemp cord, all of them. Ugh. Wrap them all in hemp cord, totally essential. Because if your lighter goes out, it's like at least you can get that and you can carry that fire somewhere else and you can keep it lit and you can light another fire and keep that fire going. This is probably my favorite. My Leatherman, I got a Leatherman charge. You obviously, obviously need a knife if you're gonna be out there in the wild, right? This one was from a little, um, this is a little multi-tool from a trip to Hawaii, which it, this thing would totally help. It would totally come in handy. But this bad boy right here is gonna, this is, this is where it's really at. So not only, I can open it with one hand. If I can open it, check this out. You got a saw, right? Super sharp, super good quality steel this is, right? So you're gonna need to build a shelter for protection from you know animals, maybe not so much the bugs, but if you can stay inside, if you can get a fire going, build a shelter, boom, look at that. You could start sawing off you know, branches and all kinds of stuff. Then there's a, a file of there right there. And then this knife right here is totally essential. Let me actually get it open, fling her on open. One thing I like about this blade is obviously it's got serrations, but see that little belly right there, that little hook, that's gonna be gutting your fish right there without damaging it and getting you sick, you know? Gonna have to have to make food. Boom, 
probably the most expensive thing in here. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it, but if you can afford it, totally recommend Leatherman. And there's so many out there. There's so many out there, but this one I've had for a while and it's been super good to me. The blades aren't even dull yet. I have yet to sharpen them and I've had it, I would say nine years now. Really good tool. And I totally, totally, totally skipped over this. This goes along with light glow sticks. Oh my God. If a helicopter is looking for you and it's nighttime, you better, these, you better crack them all and you better have them going. This is super bright at night. And the cool thing is even after, you know, a couple days, say you're stranded out there for a couple nights, right? At nighttime, they're still visible. They're not as bright, but at, when it's pitch black out in the middle of nowhere, totally visible, totally a lifesaver, right? So, and these, the cool thing is, you can go and pick up glow sticks at the Dollar Tree. Super cheap. I'm telling you, this backpack is super cheap. Now, if you were to go and buy it all at once and buy everything, you know, like I said, all at once, you know, it is going to get up there. But like I said, this is a do-it-yourself bug out bag, you know, with all the basic necessities that you can build right, right now at home. All right, you guys, here's one thing that a lot of people overlook. So when you're out there, one thing you got to deal with is mosquitoes, right? They're going to feed off of you and you're going to hate it and you could get sick off of it. You can have an allergic reaction. You could brush up against, um, God, you know, poison ivy. You, you can just have an allergic reaction to any plant out there. You could eat something that you shouldn't have eaten and feel sick. And all this stuff was bought at Walgreens and the dollar store. So ibuprofen, total, total uh, essential. Look at that. Uh, pain reliever, fever reducer. That's going to come in handy if you get sick. Also, eye wash. You're going to be building a shelter. You're going to be using your hands so much that, you know, you, you can go and itch your eye. Boom, you got something in your eye. Now your eye is infected. You, you never know. But it's super cheap and it's super small and convenient. And it's all of you probably have something like it inside your medicine cabinet that you can easily just go and put in your backpack. So eye wash, eye drops, it even comes with a cup. Here's another thing, hydrocortisone. Obviously for rashes and stuff, if you brush up against something or insects are messing with you, oh my God, that's gonna, you're gonna be so thankful that you have that because bugs will destroy you. That is the number one thing. If you don't have a fire going at night, they're gonna get you. And another thing, Two, this is Benadryl. This still goes along with all of the stuff over here. If you get sick and you get an allergic reaction, uh, something happens, you need Benadryl. Benadryl, this, I, I, I shit you not, I bought it at the dollar store. I should go and buy a box, but these are pretty strong. I've taken half at one point, you know, super essential. Benadryl is gonna just wipe it all out. Everybody knows that when you get bit by something stung by something if you're sick Benadryl you got a fever you got swelling you have an infection. I'm telling you Benadryl I would say out of all these right here if you don't have any of those I would recommend getting Benadryl and I would recommend getting some type of ointment to help you guys out And here's a little bonus. This is actually a CBD chapstick that I just threw in there I thought it was pretty cool man when I went camping up at Mount Charleston and you're 8,000 feet up there, it is windy and it is dry and I shit you not, I was licking my lips and they got chapped by the end of the night and I did not have chapstick. So, you know, chapstick's cheap, it was chilling at home and I just happened to have one. So I put it in the bug out bag because it's just another essential, you guys never know. Boom, so we covered all the gear right here. Paracord is a must. You guys never know, paracord, I'm telling you. Super strong. Long lasting, it's really good. And, you know, like I said, 150 feet. And look how small this is. Look at that. Boom. That's 150 feet right here. That is super strong stuff. Duct tape, another essential. Super strong. Let's say you cut yourself and you don't have band aids, right? Obviously, you gotta have a first aid kit. But you know, band aids are always gonna, you know, what if you cut yourself really good? Duct tape. Very, very strong. Even if you get some type of injury, God forbid you break your leg, for example, and you got sticks in a duct tape, sticks in a duct tape, <laughs> and you have sticks in duct tape, you know, you can rig a brace for your leg and the duct tape's gonna hold. I'm telling you, it's gonna hold. 
Have you guys ever seen that Mythbusters uh, episode where they were stranded on an island and all they had was a, a pallet of duct tape? And did you see all the stuff they did? They actually managed to um, build, like, make a little bowl uh, out of the duct tape, and then they filled it with water. And then when they got their fire going, they, you know, they hung it high enough away from the fire to where it could boil their water and they could have good drinking water. Now, I don't know if that's safe, obviously, for long term, but desperate times, desperate measures, and it gets the job done, and you're not getting sick, you know, drinking dirty water. You, you know, I'd rather it be hot than, you know, give you a stomach ache. All right, moving on. First aid kit. Oh my god, I just talked about this. First aid kit is perfect. This one was super cheap. I shit you not, I probably picked this up at the dollar store. And it's got all the necessities. We have a cold compressor. I'm sure you can use this when you're out there. Quick clean wipes, bandages, gauze. I see there's sticks right there to apply ointment and Q-tips. You can actually even put some of this stuff in there too. I'm sure it'll fit. Look at that, boom, boom. Eye drops, I'm sure you can fit. That stuff's not gonna fit in there, but this is small enough to where you can actually, what you can do is put these in a Ziploc baggie and then put it in there. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. I will actually turn this around. Set you there. Oh God, it's not gonna close, but I'll figure it out. First aid kit, totally essential. And uh, last but not least, this, this is really just a bonus. So this is pretty interesting. So this is the old wind up radio, right? So you can hear what's going on, but it's also got a flashlight. You know, obviously the more you wind it up, she's gonna work. Super essential, pretty neat, super cheap, solar panel, you know, charged. Um, God, entertainment, in case you need to hear what's going on when shit hits the fan. You can keep in contact, you know, listen what's going on. And all of this stuff was super cheap. I had it all in my house. A lot of you may be thinking, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I'm missing and I, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of good stuff. But like I said, this is a super affordable bug out bag that you can make, you know, on your own at home without spending anything. I'm sure you have an old school backpack laying around. I'm sure you got at least half of this stuff here. You don't need paracord, you know, like mines, you know, that I got at Home Depot for super cheap. You know, you could just have regular rope. Hey, you can, you can tie it around one of these loops right here, right? And just have, you know, 50 feet of rope or something like that. You have lighters. You can totally, totally get lighters and hemp cord. You have to have a flashlight, right? Glow sticks, like I said, dollar store. And a knife is a must. If you go out hiking or something like that, or camping, or if shit hits the fan and you don't have a knife on you, you're, you, you fucked up. So, all right, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got some type of value out of it. Um, like I said, my goal here was for the average Joe to make his own affordable backpack you can see that um, at home with all the basic you know essentials without spending a fortune so if you guys like this video I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up or if you got anything to say about maybe some stuff that you can add in your bag that are super cheap uh, let me know or I'd actually like to know if you follow me on Instagram at against the grain um, I'd like to see your guys' bags I'd like to see what you put in there what you had you know laying around at home, and I'd like to hear some of your ideas. So drop a comment and give me a follow, and I will see you guys in the next episode.